Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to this edition of programming users. So today we are going to look at a circular progress bar, okay? In fact, uh, we are going to update, uh, now this is the ordinary progress bar and this is the circular progress bar, okay? You can see uh, how nice it is. You are going to be surprised at how easy it is to use because we shall be using a library, okay? We shall be using the iTalk library. Now, just to have a look, if I click start, uh, you can see the circular progress is getting updated and at the same time text uh, the percentage level is getting also updated okay so guys are uh, welcome uh, we get started we see how to make uh, this thing so guys uh, before we continue i would just like to inform you that this uh, the library we are going to use is a free library okay it's an open source one so please uh, you can here is the license you can go uh, to the here is the website www.hazeldev.com okay now you can go there you can follow the link and uh, uh, you'll be able to see uh, some of the things now after he has just posted them in the website uh, as a file so you can just download and then extract them now once you've extracted them i uh, are going to have something like this one inside the files folder you shall have this uh, a talk theme okay no, it is this I talk uh, that we're going to use. Remember, we're using C sharp. You can see it's provided for C sharp and for VB. We shall be using C sharp. So, uh, just copy this theme. Not the first thing after creating your project. But then you can see I've already created my project. Okay. Once you've copied the file, uh, come to your uh, solution. Right click it and then uh, paste it over there. Once you've pasted it here, you can see my file right here. Okay. Once you've pasted it over there, uh, just come and build your project. Okay. Just uh, okay. Once it's through, uh, once you've, you've built the project, now when we come to our toolbox, let me just close this one first. Okay. Just come to your toolbox. Okay. And then uh, right here, you can see we have all these components. Okay. Now the library comes with all these components. You can see rich textbook, radio button, progress indicator, progress bar. For today, we shall be tackling the progress bar. But uh, stay tuned because in the other tutorials to come, we shall cover almost all of this stuff. You will be surprised at how professional they are. Okay. Uh, they are looking. Now this is the progress bar just drag it to your form you can see it's already circular then when you come to properties okay you can change uh, the text property uh, when you scroll down just have a look here progress by color one now you can change uh, the progress by color okay you can change it to whatever you want like let me for instance choose the green one then uh, let me change the value to seven uh, you see the difference okay you can see uh, that is the the progress bar one is that one for uh, the top one and then uh, the circle one uh, is this other color okay so guys uh, you can see how the progress bar is easy I'll also drag the ordinary windows fo uh, form uh, progress bar into my form okay and also we shall also need a timer so just uh, drag over there timer okay now once we've done that one i'm going to reset this one to uh let me give it a better color i don't like this color i'll bring it over to let me give it something like orange red is not so bad okay now this is our round progress bar now to use it, uh, we're just going to use it. You in fact, it's just used as the ordinary uh, progress bar. Okay. So remember, this is known as progress bar one. This one we shall rename it. Let's rename it to PB. Okay. Not problem. PB. PB. Okay. Now that's the name. Now just come. Uh, double click your timer. It shall take us to the timeatic event. Uh, the first thing that we shall do in our uh, let's also come to our form double click the form uh, in the in our form load event let me just rearrange them to something more natural this one should be the first one 
Now the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to enable our timer. So say timer one dot enabled. Okay, equal to true. Then uh, after enabling our timer, uh, let's just come. Uh, we're going also to set its interval. So say timer one dot interval. Now for interval, we shall give it fifty. And then uh, let's just come uh, as a global variable. We shall uh, declare int progress. Now it is this integer that shall be used to update the progress bar. Okay. Progress. We shall set it to zero. Then the next thing I uh, shall need a button. Okay. Now to uh, see how. Just we shall just drag. In fact, I'll use the I talk uh, button. You can see also uh, they also have very nice buttons. Now for the button, I shall come here and just have it there start. Then the name property I shall change to start button. Start btn. Now double click your button. Okay, it shall take us to the code. Now the uh, first thing. This is, in fact, this is the place that we shall want to start uh, our timer. So, let's leave the form load event alone. Come to the start button. Add the code over there. Now, after that one, uh, we're going to move to our timer tick. Okay. Our timer tick event. The first thing we're going to increment our progress of value. Now, say progress plus equal to one. Okay. Now we shall be incrementing it by one, but we'll need to check uh, if it is if it has reached a hundred so that we stop, okay? So that our timer does not run forever. So if progress is greater than or equal to a hundred, now this is the uh, situation whereby we shall so stop. And to do that one, we shall just uh, disable our timer. So say timer one dot enable equal to false. Right. Okay. Timer one. Uh, dot is, uh, enable equal to false. Then we shall stop it. Timer one. Dot stop. Otherwise, if that's no, if it's no, it has not yet. If it is between zero and a hundred, uh, we shall just continue updating our progress bar. Now remember, we have our two progress bars. The first one that we shall need to update is progress bar one dot value. We shall change it uh, to uh, the progress. Okay. Remember, it is the progress integer that shall uh, be updated dynamically. Now PB, which was our round progress bar uh, dot value again. Remember, we just update uh, this particular progress bar the way we do update the ordinary one. Okay, and that's it, guys. Now, uh, in fact, we can now just run our simple program and see. No, we set. Uh, let's reset this one from 7 to 0 let's come here and reset uh, the value to 0 ok then run uh, our simple program so guys uh, here is our program now if I click start uh, you can see uh, our nice uh, little round progress bar just updating so well okay yeah so that's it uh any other thing that we may want to do okay because we want to reset it uh to reset it let's just come uh when this one is clicked we'll want to uh, reset our progress to zero i'm resetting it because i want to click it several times okay so I have to reset the progress to zero, and here it is. Okay, now if I 
click it several times i can restart it okay so guess uh, you can see uh, how this beautiful uh, how beautiful this library is you can download it you can use it in your project you can read about the licenses but for me uh, i've been i'm satisfied with it okay because it's a free one so guys uh, please hope you've enjoyed the tutorial hope you've learned uh, some tip if you want to continue re receiving uh, tips like these ones please subscribe to this channel uh, you'll continue receiving uh, things like this one uh, like this video share it with friends uh, and please take care see you next time